This After Effects tutorial is made possible by Skillshare. Hey everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create a minimal style title animation in After Effects without using any plugins. So with that said, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this main title. 1920 by 1080 60 FPS. You can also go with 30 FPS if you want. I'm going to go with 60 FPS as this will make the title look more smooth. 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's select the text tool and let's type in the text that we want. And for the font, I'm going with a Suga Pro Classic. I'll mention the link in the description so you can download this free font. So I'm going to type in my first text. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's pull this below and type in my second text. For this one, I can go with actually a bold font. Oh, maybe let's make this regular. Okay. Also my para, I'm going to set this to the right alignment for both of these. And then we can just align them properly. Okay. So if you don't see this align tab, you can find it under windows align and you can turn on the title action safe. Let's center this up. So like that. And let's duplicate this Hit control D pull this below. Again, I'm going to make this light and let's type in the designation. Let's bring that down to 60 and keep it simple. There we go. Maybe make this 50, I think. Before I proceed further with this tutorial, let's take a look at today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. Skillshare offers class designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops at less than $10 a month. The first 500 people to click the link in the description will get a two free months of Skillshare premium. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. Okay, so there we have our text. Let's select this and add a nice color to this. So I'm gonna go into effects and preset and type in gradient ramp. Double click to apply that up. Now for the start of the ramp and end of the ramp, I'm gonna use an expression. So the colors are locked up at one particular position. So if I just copy this expression that I have, by the way, you can download the expression from the description, hit control C. But before I copy paste this expression, now let's see if I select my gradient ramp and let's pull this colors just like that. If I animate my text, so let's give it a very quick, simple animation just to explain it to you guys. If I create a position keyframe, go back and move this, you can see the gradient doesn't move. So to fix this, what we can do is copy paste the exp expression on the start of the ramp and end of the ramp. So I'm going to hold alt, click on the stopwatch, hit control V and on the same on the end ramp as well. Hold alt, click on the stopwatch, hit control V. So now the positions are moved to a different place. So we just need to place them properly. Just like that. You know, and then you can use any color that you like. So I'm going to go with something like this. Made a bit darker. And now if I move the position of my text, the gradient moves along with this. So this is a pretty cool expression that I learned from Video Lancer. You can check out his YouTube channel. The link will be in the description. So yeah, there we have our text ready. Now we can go ahead and animate this. So to animate this, I'm going to create a rectangular by using the rectangle tool. Let's keep it something like that. 
let's create a square by holding shift also align it into the center go into rectangle properties go into path and let's set this to around 400 should be good pull this below actually call this mat hit u two times to reveal all the properties so let's actually align this into the center now we just need to align our text properly with the shape just like that select this and i'm going to rotate this a little bit by nine degrees all right maybe a bit just like so okay perfect so let's use this shape as a track mat so i'm going to turn that off select our first text that is the daniel go into effects and preset and type in a set mat double click and then in the take mat from layer option i'm going to set this to mat now what now what this is going to do is it's going to use the mat layer as a track mat so instead of doing this from here in the track mat option i can do this using the set mat effect so now we can you know basically animate this as you can see pretty cool so let's go to one second and 30 frames select the daniel text hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back and pull this up just like so or actually what i can do is let's select the second text as well hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe on both of them also copy paste the set mat option so hit ctrl c ctrl v on both of this text and now i can select both of this text hit p so we have already created a keyframe go back and pull this up just like so so now we have a very simple and nice animation let's go into the text properties and add a opacity animation pull this down to zero go right over here go into range selector and now we can animate the start property just like that so let's set it all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back and set this to zero i can copy this animator hit ctrl c and paste it on all the other two texts Control v so we have something like this pretty cool let's also select the third text that is the motion designer hit p create a keyframe go back and let's pull this out just like so so we have something like this pretty nice let's select all the three texts hit p so we can see just the position select the keyframes hit f9 to ease, ease those keyframes go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag the handle holding shift to the left just like so so we have a bit more interesting animation as you can see pretty cool now let's add a little bit of delay between both the text so what i can do is i can move the second text that is oh sorry the first text that is daniel a few frames forward maybe 10 frames and let's see what we get as you can see looks pretty nice maybe i'll also animate the opacity as well so let's select this hit u so we can see all the keyframes and let's select only the opacity hit f9 go into the graph editor and let's move this to the left so let's see what we have yep that is looking much better now let's duplicate the mat layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it call this line turn that on we don't need any fill on this so i'm gonna set this to none and add a stroke of around five pixels and we can also copy paste the gradient layer from here so hit ctrl c ctrl v and let's move the points to the place that we want so something like maybe there and this one right over here okay so now let's go ahead and animate the line so i'm going to go into the properties add a track add a trim paths so let's go ahead and animate the trim path let's set the end property to zero also actually i'm going to move the offset right over here around let's make this minus 170 all right and let's animate the end offset and let's animate the end property so i'm going to create a keyframe on the end 
go to around maybe one second and 30 frames set this to all the way up to 100 go to one second and go to 30 frames create a keyframe on the start property go right over here at two second and 30 frames and set this to 100 so now we have something like this so if i hit ctrl shift h to hide the control layers you can see we get this really cool animation now we also need to animate the offset so to do that i'm going to create a keyframe on the offset animation go right over here and let's move this a bit forward let's go with i think i'm gonna go with maybe let's set this to zero let's see what we get i think zero is a bit too much maybe i'll set this to minus 70. or let's go with minus 100. also i'm going to select all the keyframes hit f9 to easy ease them and let's see what we have so that is looking pretty good one thing that we need to do is go into the graph editor and move all of them to the left just like that let's see yep that is looking very nice there we go you can also reverse this animation and to do that i'm going to select all the layers hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it call this title okay so i'll go around maybe somewhere around two second and th 40 frames all right and right click go into time enable time remapping create a keyframe go to around four seconds and copy paste the first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v and hold alt and close square bracket and now we have the reverse animation as well so basically you have the in and the out animation for your title pretty sweet and you can also uh, you know add background to your design if you want to also you can play around with the complete design if you want to you know if i if i can hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's change the color to something like white let me bring down the size to three and I rotate this a bit you can create some nice variation into the design as well you know just to give you guys an idea it would look really really cool so yeah that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this short and simple tutorial and on how to create some very nice and minimalistic title animation inside of after effects without using any plugins so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out